Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's been, what, eight days since the last Transport Fever uh, Lonely Pines play we've done. So thanks, everyone, for hanging in there. Thanks, everyone, for your subscriptions also. With only 11 days left, we need 22 subs to reach that 30, or oh, that 300 mark. So keep it going, guys. You're doing fantastic, and thank you so much for all the support, even though I, ha I haven't been um, able to upload anything. Now... Plenty to do still, as always. Always plenty to do. I'm coming to you live. Well, live right now, me recording this, but for you guys, I'm coming from my brand new place that I've been moving into. I have stuff everywhere. I don't even have my office set up. I am literally sitting at my kitchen bench playing this because I wanted to have a go and get this out for you guys um, because I know how much uh, you guys have enjoyed it and, and been following along so thank you very much now mass gaming last time out great comments and thank you very much and I agree with you they we're gonna run with the Zephyr on this we're gonna get rid of these rotors rotor fail I think it's uh, pronounced I'm not too sure I, I've probably probably stuff that pronunciation up but these guys carry only 20% and they're really good I really love them but I did want to I did want to run the Zephyr so <clears throat> excuse me while I still clear my throat so you can see here this is the one we want to go with the Pioneer Zephyr I don't even know if I've pronounced that correctly that's just in my head that's how it is pronounced but these guys have a 52 capacity um, they are 1.2 million compared to the 450,000 these cost but this is only 20 people and um, that is 52 people right so the attractive effort I don't think is as good oh it is it's way better actually that's only 45 kilonewtons attractive effort so I was wrong again right so we're definitely going to be replacing these with the uh, Zephyr now we're going to do that now but we don't actually, I don't think we'll need, what, six of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Um, maybe four to start with. So we'll replace, let's sell two. Sell two of these. And then replace these. <laughs> it had to be one I was had, had placed those with that. All right, let's have a look at these, where, wherever they've gone. Maybe back here. That way we've, we now... Oh, look how beautiful they are. That way we can start shifting and lifting a lot of these people. So, Mass Gaming, thanks for that. And he had a lot of other great comments as well. To, um... Oh, look how beautiful they are. They are such a cool train. He had a lot of other great comments as well, which uh, I will be employing throughout the playthrough and fixing up and tidying up. But, uh, and keeping note of as well with attractive efforts and, and uh, diamond junctions instead of just a single junction crossover. Uh, so plenty of that to fix up and get through. As, as we get through the ages, we're still in 1949, about to hit 1950 uh, in the next year. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll maintain that. We'll get onto some of that. But look at this. We're now going to carry a full load of 52 and start clearing these platforms out and start getting people moved, which is going to be fantastic. Not only that, but look how cool they look. Ah, oh, that's a great looking train. All right, so you're probably thinking, what are we going to do today? Well, today, we're going to try and hook up Monto. Uh, Monto and Parramatta, we're going to try and hook up into either Geelong or Bundera. Like I said, we either tunnel straight under Geelong with a, with a big bridge up to Bundina, or we, we make a nice little sort of round-the-top loop and hook up in here so we can pull into Geelong. And I think, you know, we might actually do that. We might actually not use the Zephyr for that. We might actually go back to the Pioneer. Uh, the fail, whatever it is, I think, yeah. Uh, have I got my names right? Train 32, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I want, I want, uh, yeah, no, so the Pioneer, we might go to the fail, just for that, yeah, the rotor. We'll probably use a rotor for a, a, like a nice scenic link from Monto up to here, so that's probably a better use for it, whereas these country link trains are much better suited with the Zephyrs. Now, already look they're doing well full you know if we can get over over half capacities all the way through we're going to be fine but you can see on the way back how many people are actually waiting here 377 so people definitely want to ride this line they definitely want to get through it um 
All right, I think that's enough talking. Let's get into the episode. Right, so first things first, we're just writing this down over the bridge again because there's a part of the track that I want to fix up before we get to Monto. And that part, it just got a little dip where I didn't like. And you'll see here, not this part, this is all right. We come flying down through the mountain here, through the tunnel. I know we've got it on fast forward, sorry, but hey, it's a track ride, who doesn't love it? So here we come here, I'll slow it down as we start to get there. It's okay, I don't mind the bridge having a bit of a curve. But here we go, this is re this is normal speed. So these things are pretty quick, 95, 96 miles an hour. So just as we come through here, the track will dip down and then it will rise back up as we get to the other side. What I wanna do is actually take the actual dip out of this track. You can see now we're gonna go uphill again. So I wanna run a level from this point to the bridge. Yep, yep. Okay, and you can see where we are just this corner here just want to fix that up so we'll go ahead and pause um, and I'll take this track from here I think and it starts to take it from there right give me this one please Now you can see that it is running down, so we want it to actually run up. Yeah, you can see, that's the, that's the dip we had right there. So the, I'm actually a lot more happy with that because it's gonna get a, give us a better view over those trees. And what I'll do is I'll actually level up this side of the track as well. Let's just make sure we're inside the inside. Yep, perfect. I think, and then we'll just ride it out before we get to Monto, just to make sure we're happy with that. The other thing I'm thinking I, I would like to probably do is I, even though we've got a, a nice boat service which is picking up a lot of people to go over to Lawrence and then go over to uh, Queen Bee in here, I think I still want to run a split train service off Bright and somehow hooking up Barry also. Just a thought, food for thought, so keep that in the back of your minds and how we're going to do that. Now, uh, where's our signals? Signals there, signals there. I think we'll be right. Let's have a look at that now. And we might be able to just get a bit of uh, smoothage going on here. Quite a large brush size. And so gently. Because I actually really enjoyed how the track was sort of flat on there. And I don't mind that at all. Okay, that's a bit better. And we, that what's, what that's going to do is that's going to give us a better view over the city as we ride, ride along past it. Alright, so let's hit play again. We've got our train coming into the station. Look at this cool station. Here he comes now. Wish we have to upgrade this track too, by the way. I just love these things. Just absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic. Look at the nice red trim on them. Oh, they're so... Uh, could you imagine this thing flashing past you? Oh, it's just blinding on a, on a really glary day. Um, yeah, so even though they're 1.2 million, they do carry a lot more people. Look at that. And uh, how many people are left waiting at this station? It's still 26. So that should build up when the trams pull in. Which we have to put some more trams on this service as well now. Okay, let's ride along. 
and we'll see how this goes. I don't know how happy I am with this part of the track either. I think it's alright. It, it does go slightly uphill here, but I mean it has to because we do head uphill on the on the bridge itself, so let's just see if we've alleviated a lot of this dipping issue. Now you probably think, ham, it's just a dip, but you know, it makes a difference. Yeah, this is so much better. Look at that. We can see better view. Yeah. This is much, much better. Okay, I think we can move this now. Yep. Happy with that? Happy as pigs in mud. Pigs do love mud. And lots of food. Right. Done, done, and done. Let's get hooked up. Now, the thing I don't know is if I'm going to run some kind of a train station from here and split the two towns, noting that we have a tram service in place so these guys here can get to the train station. Or if we run something from over here, just out of town, which is up on this hill slightly, and we can follow this, we can follow this hill around, up across the top of the cliff face here and into that line. I think that's the way we go. I think smacking a, a rail and bridge through here is gonna be just a bit crazy, you know? Uh, maybe come from the other way, see if that works. So if we went something like that to go underneath, I mean, it works and then you would what run like that that big red bridge. Yeah, you'd have to run that. I mean, it looks cool. It looks impressive. Do we really want to run that though? I mean, it's not terrible, is it? And then you can still run your thing around there. It's a bit extreme, I think. Let's have a look, see what it looks like from this way. Huh. All right. So that's what that would look like, okay? So take a mental picture. That's what that would look like. Today, we're actually gonna run it up and around here. But if you think you like it with, across there and you think that could just add some more character to this map, let me know. And we can maybe change things up a little bit. But for today, I think we'll put the station in over here, like I said, regardless. Even even if we put that bridge in through there, we can still run it around into a station over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten a bit of land up here first. Let me just also see where our land is. Okay, so residential on this side, that's perfect. So we want to come in down here. All right. Um, now, because we're on a hill... Let's say we want to do it like about, um, hmm, this is tricky actually. We could actually just make a terminus come straight into here. And then loop out and around. Yeah, why don't you do that? Okay, yeah, that's a better idea. Or even better, it could, no, now you're getting out of hand. You're getting out of hand, ham. Yeah, but I, lo I love track rides through cities. We all love that champion, but um, just take a little bit of a track ride through the city. Oh, it's not the same though, is it? And then we've got to carve right through them. And are they on a hill? That's the other thing. Or are they flat? Run a bit of track through just to see. If that's going to dip in your savings account. No, it's not. Okay. Give me the uh, buildings. Uh, the other thing is, no, because we're gonna if we run a train service down here for freight, it'll be a separate freight station um, for everything. So we'll run one freight hub for this whole for these whole two towns if we do that. So don't even worry about that. Okay, not worrying. Now we don't need a huge station. I'm even thinking 120. Because it's more like a little shuttle service up into there, into Geelong. If you run that there, you don't get a lot of coverage. No, we don't, do we? But that is going to give you a lot more coverage. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And when you're right, you're right. So we'll go with 
I'll go with the double station. Uh, also, that's freight ham. Right, right. Okay, we don't want freight. Hmm. High speed. Main building, building medium. Can we make... Ooh, overpass. Give me 120. And can we make it... Um, can we make that so it's... A terminus? Huh. Doesn't look like it, does it? Um, but we could adjust it so it is. Spin it. In the famous words of Kylie Minogue, I'm spinning around. Uh, so, let's pretend that we want to put this here. Sorry, Mr. Tools. <laughs> yes, so frivolous with money sometimes. Let's get a bit of pause in case the uh, AI gets... Gets a, uh, gets a better idea. Passenger buildings. I think we're running that. Yeah, so that works. Are you happy with that angle? Yes. <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> no. Also, why don't we just go ahead and do something like this? So it gets more connection points. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, we're all about connections. We're all about networking, connections, and uh, connections and networking. All right, so put a smaller one in. No, don't. Or well, you might run a little road up there. Will we? Ooh, how about we do miscellaneous? Oh, we do have uh, roofs we could put in too. Just one. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! Okay. Oh, I'm loving it. Like, like it's. Yeah, yeah, I'm loving it. You've done what you've done is you've done well. Okay. And we can decorate that up and make it look really nice. What are we gonna do about a road? Maybe just a little street. But one that little bends around here. Or potentially a little bus service. Uh, are we gonna need a little commuter? Well, we could run a commuter out of this. Right? Okay, yeah, and then what? Uh, well... Hmm. That's a good question, well asked. What, how come you're not using the big roads for around here? Uh, I just don't really think we need to for this place. Okay. Suit yourself. I kinda am. You know, I kind of really am. I think we just do a bus drop off. And in that case, go a little, little tiddler. Bend him into there. Oh, lovely. Around the corner. You'll see, you'll see what I'm doing here shortly. Get in, get in around there. Get it like that. That's a cute little road. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, I am, you wally. And this one here, uh, it was always going to happen, wasn't it, mate? It's always going to happen. Sorry, buddy. But uh, life takes you on a strange journey sometimes. I want you to go like that. Yeah, okay, I can handle that. And that. Yeah. Lovely. And the AI can fill in gaps there and I can do some walls and some other cool decorating stuff in between and trees and whatever. But I think that will work. Now, get me a little bus stop. We haven't used one of these yet, so maybe we should try and use one of these things. What's this? In goes. Right. Um, yeah. There. 
And we're not going to use the bus stop on this side, are we? Probably should. So if that's the case, how do you want to uh, do some sort of a circuit? Well, from here, from here, it'll come up around there and down. Just leave the one service, I think, at the moment. And we'll call it Monto Commuter. Yep, exactly how I wanted that to go. I love it when a plan comes to fruition. Right, give me this pink. And we'll call it um, Monto. Also, do you want to make it a tram or a bus? No, because we've got trams coming in and we can mix it up by having buses and trams in the one stop. Roger. Buses and trams. So that road you put in over here and over here is redundant. Ah, well, I'm trying to encourage the AI. All right, encourage away. So what do we got? We've got uh, packs, bus. And we are Monto. Are we putting Mont? Yeah, why not? Commuter. Okay. Uh, where can I, where do I put that tram service over here? Do you want to give them a bus depot as well? Or a, a like a, a road depot? Buildings. You're in the right place. You're in the right place there, fella. This one. Right, how are they going to hook up then? Something like this. Okay. You see me this, I only need that little bit of road actually, and they can sort of, ooh, come onto that flat bit, what do you reckon? Yeah, okay, that works. Right, give me, oh, we'll, just, we'll just put one on it at the moment, I think it'll just put a coach. Uh, passenger, oh, we got this new one, the Ziz, which just came up just before, I did see it. Takes 12 people and 37 miles per hour. Not that that matters, but I think we'll take one, thanks. And we'll make you the PAX Bus Mont. Ah, what's this one? Ah, oh, that's that one, okay. Uh, it's okay, I don't want you to go on that, so that's good. <sighs> Lucky that didn't do that. PAX Mont. Utah. Perfect. I wonder why I didn't like that uh, tram line, actually. Either way, that's going to work in itself. Now, the next crucial step to this plan is getting this track nice and up this hill and connected in. Okay. How many trains are you going to run on this service, by the way? That, my friend, is a great question. I do not know. Is there a way that we can ease our way up? We're already carving quite a large hole, aren't we? Okay, if we just keep it. You're gonna have to go quite steep at some point. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna be a tough, tough ask, isn't it? We're gonna have to kind of wend our way up a little bit. And that's quite a steep. Climb, isn't it? You are electric trains though, so... Yes, but taking into what Mass Gaming said last time out, attractive effort is key. No, we'll see. You may as well just go straight up there if you're going hit to a, hit a steep patch. Okay. Refund me, my track, my fellow friends. We are going to punch Straight up the hill here. Uh, yep. Making a beeline. Now, I kind of would like to run over the top of this edge a little bit, but I don't want to really wreck the edge because I don't mind it too much. The other thing is, what about if you see where you're going to pull this line off to? Uh, maybe about right before the tunnel. Okay, so let's get you flat to start with. Just so there's no confusion as to ruining this track. 
I mean like that. I mean exactly like that. That's horrible. How does that look? That's better. On the uh slightly gives me a bit of decline. No. I just we're just not getting that how I want it, are we? I try. I try, try, and then if you don't succeed, try again. I'm just pulling it off like that for a moment. Okay, yeah, that that's a bit happier. All right, oh, no, no, no. You know me, I can't let that go. So you're all good. But you're not. Difficult, difficult circumstances. So there's your, there's your lights. That's got it. And we're slightly running down too, so that's even better. How do you feel about that? I feel really good about that. <laughs> oh, good. Also, this signal here becomes redundant and needs to be put back in. Ah, uh, no, signal sinks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's worked a charm. That's a great junction. Uh, okay, so you are going to come. Now, are we going to bridge that? Oh, we are 100% going to bridge that. What kind of bridge are we going to use? Can we use this one? Oh, that's dangerous looking. What about that one? That's a dream. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what you want there. Okay, perfect. You know, I love that bridge. As a, oh god, falling down the hill here. That's come up absolute. That would it's like a roller coaster. Absolutely, be scared off your wits riding that. Also, your tracks over there too. So don't forget that. You want to run the same again? Yes, I definitely do. What about this? It's got it like a higher rail. Oh, I don't like it. It's how are you looking? Also snaking. Yeah, you know what? It's it's called character. And also, are we running the inside one there? Yes, we are. Okay, so see how he connects up. His partner up here. Now, this is going to be an interesting ride along to make sure that we don't have horrible dips and... We, we don't go like a snail's pace up this hill because it's quite a steep hill. And it's quite a sharp turn into the station too, you know that right? Yeah, yeah I do, yeah I do. Alright, um, this one's for you Mass Gaming. We're, we're going to try this diamond junction. I might try it, uh, I might just put it a little bit further out. Give us a little bit of breathing in case one day we have big trains coming in here. Are you going to be able to put a diamond on this corner of this, Ben, though? You're pushing your luck there, fella. I don't think I am. Oh, let's leave that. I think we need to cross that. Give me a uh, signal there. And then we should be coming up this way. You got a signal here though. Ah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Are these going to give way to them then? This is more for a spacing thing. Well, why didn't you leave it there? Uh, not sure. Let's just see how they go with that. So they can fight it out to see who gets priority. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So they should come in here and then back out that way. Back out that way. Right. And then 
I guess we're pulling into Geelong, aren't we? So this Geelong is going to need a diamond also. She should have probably built a little separate shunter station for Geelong. Also, look how many people are in Geelong. That's a lot. How many people are in Bundina? Look, quite a few. I love... This is, this is what I mean by a track ride along. Running through this, like, this town. With the buildings either side of the track. I just think it's... Oh, I love it. I just love it. Okay, can't... Okay, ham. <laughs> Calm your farm, buddy. So we either bring... We either bring a, a little shunting service into here or we clog up the laneway. Risk it for the biscuit or we'll put in a little separate terminus on the side. See what happens. Configure it. Okay, so tracks. Because it can be, literally, we can walk. Oh, that's a steep wall there, mate. Yeah, okay, bear with me because we can re we can smooth it out just a touch and we can also retain it back. You know that, right? I do know that. I do know that's what you like to do in some of your stuff. And then what we can do is this. Right, so in this way, out that way. Is that right? That's how we run, isn't it? Yeah, that's how we run. So if that's the case, how would you signal that up? Well, you'd probably give these guys a signal here to wait for this traffic. Would you though? Hmm. We could hold these guys up so he can get out. See how that goes. Also, your train will come in on this side and go out that way, I think. Yes, it will. So that's that's going to work a treat. Okay, leave that there. See how that goes. But I'm actually... I like the idea that we can actually split the servers down this side. If I was smart, I probably would have brought it down this side. But I kind of don't mind tucking it down here and then putting some retaining wall section over it and doing some cool overhead decoration for it. I think that's what we'll do. Um, you'll see what I mean, trust me. Trust me, I'm, a, I'm an expert. No, you're an egg-spurt. Oh, egg puns now, are we? You're a shell of his former self. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing it, guys. It's the week before Christmas. Okay, um... Line. Okay, yes, line. Let's see how this goes. New line. Let's start at the start. That would potentially... No, 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 that's two new lines. No, this line here, add a station. S1. And then... Ah, uh, no, see, you've picked the wrong one, Geelong. Three. Right, and you're doing exactly what I want you to. Ah, uh, guys, see, I've had, a, I've had an eight-day break off tra transport fever, and I've come back fresh, refreshed, and... Um, I haven't lost, my, you know, it's, you know what, it's because you're taking brain pills to help your brain function. Yeah, I, okay, I do, I take some vitamins, which helps brain functionality. Good, it's good vitamins are good vitamins. Okay, and happy, I uh, don't mind that you come in there, so that's fine. It possibly gives us the opportunity to also get a line to split up this way and head into Rocky, which... I'm considering or the other cool thing is we could actually go underneath and go to Montague and just run train services every here there and everywhere like a little tunnel network um, okay Ham, calm down so you're happy with that in the end yeah I think I am you know okay well give us the color yep okay and what are you gonna call it we are going to call this what it is and that's Monto to Geelong <laughs> Monto to Geelong Alright, so, uh, name, tax, uh, train, that's what it is, and we are Mont to G, that's it, as easy as that, right, how are you going to run a train there, that should come from our new depot, shouldn't it, is it, uh, is it going to allow it to come in here and then go down there, or are we going to have to give it a, 
So it can go there. Are we going to have to give it a turn point there? I dare say you're going to have to give it a turn point, otherwise it won't just pull in there and then switch. Okay, if that's the case... Should I need it? You'll have to come from that though, won't you? And then we can paint all this up, decorate it, and do all that sort of jazzy jazz stuff. I don't think we need to make you a slip either, because you just li literally need to feed that line over there, and you are not for anything else. Uh, and you don't need to split over to that either, so we can just leave you on there. I think. Yeah, yeah, you come out. I'm getting my... Yes, definitely. Okay, so that's right. All right, let's go buy a train. Put it on that service. I love buying the trains from this one here. I mean, we could buy one from over here. Oh, no, we can't buy it from here yet. Yeah, what you haven't done is have, you haven't hooked up that over to there. We have a look at that now. Sure. How would you do it? Well, you've got this bit here, right? Yes. Okay, I see what you're doing. Stay flat for me. Right, and then what? Well, does it work if you go like that? Uh, is that going to be weird? No! Strangely enough, that kind of works. Except that bit of wall in your way. Oh, that's disappointing because I really enjoyed that. What about if you just take it on ever so slightly, touch more angled that way? Oh, now. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I wanted to say something in French then, but I couldn't think of anything because I don't know French. Oh, look at this, guys. Motorboats. Boats. Oh, this is cool. Ship expansion. Rail bus. So we're not running the rail bus, are we? No, Ham. Don't run the rail bus. Oh, really? No, it's electric, by the way. Oh, the rail bus takes what? No, that's not the rail bus, by the way. What is that? RE44. Ah. Huh. Look at that. This lightweight electric express locomotive was first used in the Switzerland to be equipped with trucks. Ah. Huh. There you go, the things you know. And what was that rail bus thing? Where did that come from? Um, oh, it's here. It's a diesel. Okay, and its capacity is 15. Well, we're not going to run that. Uh, ow. What would you run that with? The All-American Gold... Golden Sand. I don't think that's the right train for that service though, is it? I want to use this. I want to use it, but we're not going to use it on that service because this is more like a like an end-to-end -end service. So I think because we got rid of because we got rid of the fail and we've only got one fail running and that is another end-to-end -end service. We're going to run with this one and we'll get two of them. To start with, we will set them on the Pax Mont G. No! Oops, bugger, why were you not? Are you electrified? Oh, you are electrifying! You're all electrified all the way. Get up here. Get around here. And then you should be able to pull straight through. Into here. Is it because it wants to go to Monto first? Potentially. Uh, hmm. I wonder if that's why. Because it's like, no, we can't get to Monto first. In that case, instead of um, where is it? Where is it? Where? Mont, 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 Mont. Next Mont, next Mont. And train. Train. Want Paris.
matter. On G. Okay. Right. Let's switch these up. So we're going Geelong first. And Monto. Are we still good? You still good? Yes, we're still good. And you've switched over to here. Okay, what, you do you. You do you, boo. <laughs> okay. Let's see if our trains now will accept that because it might say going into Geelong first. All right, you two. You two, go to Pax Mont G. No, unable to find a path. Okay. You can definitely get up here. I've run electric trains up this before because of this. Yes. Horrible junction, by the way. Which needs to be revisited. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And that maybe he wants to get over. Okay. See if that helps it. We'll just keep problem solving here until we get it. Also, if you're going to do that, let's actually do it so it goes like this. Is it because maybe I... Didn't slip that. No, 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 that wouldn't that wouldn't make a difference. Oh yes it would if it's coming up this side. I think I might have just solved it. Right, let's try now. You everyone's probably screaming at me. Yes! Okay guys, I uh, I know I said before that the break helped me, but look, i I managed to figure that out a lot quicker than than if I didn't do it the correct way. Can we get a bit of going here, please? When the going gets tough. Are we done today? I think we are done today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me back here. And thank you. Where are you going? No, I had never anticipated that it would go this way. Shut the front door. What an elegant surprise this has been. I did not know that it would use this as a through and through. Wait, well, now you can see what the station's like here. Coming from this way. How cool is this? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I've got, I've got to fix this bit too. Oh, how did I forget that? All right, oh, that's the thing that needs to be fixed. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me today. Uh, oh, look at all these people. We may have to bump up this service too. Old Lonely Pines, it's good to be back. Uh, it's good to be in the new place, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this being back. Stay tuned for some more Transport Fever. Stay tuned for some more Farming Sim. I'm really loving Farming Sim, and I can't wait to get back into that. They take a lot of effort, though. They're, they're, they're bigger episodes to produce, so they take a lot of hours to uh, edit up and, and get sorted out for you. Uh, but I absolutely thoroughly enjoy those farming sim ones and I hope, uh, hope you guys are enjoying those as well. Thank you everyone for your support um, and the subscriptions that you've been uh, giving lately. We've only got 22 to go to hit our 300 um, cap. Well, no, no, cap, but our 300 mark before New Year's Eve. So keep it coming. If you, if you, if you want to get on board, get on board with that. Um, yeah, that, that was our problem right there. We need to actually put a switch there. Uh, <laughs> right, I've been Van Ham. Thanks once again for all your comments, likes, and subscribes. Hit that bell notification for some more content. And um, I'm back. Although I'm still going to be a little bit disjointed uh, here and there. So just bear with me. With Christmas around the corner, I'm still going to try and produce as much as I can. And um, that's it. Stay glued to your screen. Stay safe wherever you are. And, uh, hey, hope you're all safe out there. See you later. Bloody autosave. <laughs> I just, I really wanted a nice little ride for you guys, and autosave just ruined it.
Watch out, bear! 